Hey guys, Delphine here. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to feed your dart frogs or any other critter that requires you to feed them uh, fruit flies. So let me just show you what supplies you're going to need today. You're going to want a fruit fly culture, obviously. You're going to want another container of some sort. I like to use this glass jar. One, because we have a ton of glass jars laying around the house. And two, because uh, the smooth edges, the smooth surface of the glass allows for the fruit flies to fall into wherever you want to put them a lot easier. And of course you're going to need your calcium and your multivitamin. And uh, of course this is always helpful. This is optional but I would say for anyone who hasn't had practice with fruit flies to use one of these. Um, this is just a gallon Ziploc bag. Alright so this is how it works. As you can see these fruit flies all swarm to the top of the container, to your lid. So you're probably wondering, mm -hmm. how in the world do you get these guys out without fruit flies going everywhere? They're just drawn to crawling up, up and onto the lid. So this was what was daunting at first when I got these guys is that they were just all swarmed up on top of the lid and I had no idea how I was going to get them out without some major fruit fly escapage. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. It's pretty simple um, and be a little daunting of course because no one wants a bunch of bugs running around their house. But let me just show you how it's done. Alright, first thing, you gotta put your powders in here. So you don't want to put too much because fruit flies are really tiny and when you have too much powder laying around, it tends to dump into whatever container you're putting the fruit flies in. So you want to just put just a little bit. You can always add more, remember, but it's really hard to get this stuff back out. So I'm just adding a really, really tiny bit. Alright. Once you get those added, just swish it around a little bit, mix it up. Getting a little stuck. Go ahead. Alright, now that we got our powder, see it's just a little tiny bit in the corner here. That's going to be plenty for a ton of fruit flies. Now the next step is to get your gallon bag. You're going to want to put your jar in the bottom of this. And just kind of push this down around the edges. This just gives you an extra barrier so when you're pouring your fruit flies, if they miss the rim of this container, they'll fall into the bag and you can, they're still somewhere where you have them contained and you don't have to worry about a major mess. Now I'm moving on to the fruit flies. So as I showed you, they're all swarming to the lid. Now what you do is if you tap it, they all fall off. So that's the key here, that you have to just keep tapping it. You tap the container consistently and just kind of work the lid off. If you take little small breaks between your tapping, it's okay. It takes the fruit flies a little bit of time to get back up. But you just need to find a good spot of the lid. It can be really tricky. So just work it. Alright, so now you got the lid off, you gotta keep tapping it so your fruit flies don't come out. But you're gonna come over here to the jar, and like so. And as if you get closer, you can see the fruit flies falling into the jar, falling into the bag. And when you're done, you gotta take them back to the edge and tap them real quick. Get your lid, keep tapping it, get your lid on secure. Alright. Now what you do is you get this jar out and you just give it a shake. Once these fruit flies are coated in powder, they're not going anywhere. You can't climb, and these are wingless fruit flies, so they can't even fly or anything or hop. And then you go to your bag over here. You give it a shake. And as you can see, we got some fruit flies in here. And so we're just gonna get these all guys all in one corner. And we're just gonna work them into the jar. Still got one left in the corner up here. Sticking. Can't tell if it's a smushed one. That one looks like he's smushed. So we'll leave him. He's fine. Now you got them all out of the bag except the smushed one. Give those guys a shake so they're coated too. And then you've got a bunch of fruit flies all ready to feed. 
Alright, so I'm going to be feeding my dart frogs. There they are over there. And so basically you just give your jar a shake and work your fruit flies down. And then just let them fall out on their own. I just kind of try and place them wherever I know that these guys are. I've got to leave some for the others. My frogs are pretty young, so they tend to be a little bit shyer when it comes to hunting their fruit flies. As you can see, I think that's Christopher here. Yep, Christopher is pretty shy. He likes to hide under something and eat. Apollo's pretty good. He'll come right out and eat. Um, and you can't even see him, but back there, Ash is hiding behind Apollo. Uh, Ash is hiding behind Christopher. So he's extra shy, even though he's bigger than Christopher. So I don't watch these guys too much, I just close it up and let them have their privacy so that they can eat. But we're going to move on to the other dart frogs, my dad's dart frogs, the uh, Tinctorious Cobalts. Alright. So these guys are pretty good feeders. Same thing, you just want to shake the fruit flies close to the edge. You don't want to shake too much because the powder comes with them. And you just let them sort of slide on that glass and fall right in there. And if your powder starts coming out, just take it all back to the bottom and start over. So as you can see, these guys eat a whole lot better than mine. At least out in the open, that is. So I'm just trying to get the last few flies out of here. If you can't get all of your flies out of your jar, it's not a huge deal. They usually die sitting in it overnight. And like I said, they can't go anywhere. I just put a lid like this one with little holes on top. Just to give them air in case they do last overnight. So yeah, this has been how to feed your dart frogs or any other critter that eats these little fruit flies. Uh, I hope you guys will find this helpful if you're thinking about getting yourself some dart frogs or if you have some baby chameleons or some other small reptile that requires these dart frogs or some amphibian also. So yeah, I'll be sure to give you guys more updates on the dart frogs. I hope you enjoyed watching them eat. They sure enjoyed eating. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and please like and subscribe to see more videos.